Hi, I'm Eric, and uh, I wanted to spend a little time with you today talking about collaborative robotics. You know, this has been an important week in the robot industry because just yesterday, uh, the RIA announced the approval and the adoption of ANSI RIA R15.06 2012. This is the new robot safety standard, uh, and it allows for, amongst a number of things, the new concept of collaborative uh, work between a person and a robot. And that's what this is going to demonstrate for you. You see, the robot is our seven-axis machine, and it's running at full speed in its zone. But as soon as I approach and enter into a collaborative area, the robot automatically slows down to 250 millimeters per second. This is the safety speed uh, dictated by the new standard. It knows I'm in the zone because we have a safety rated sensor, a laser scanner, that's under, that knows when I've crossed in. So I'm working in its area and the robot automatically slows down. So in this case, what we're attempting to, what we're demonstrating is the concept of collaborative work. What would you do if you had a third hand from an assembly perspective? So the robot's going to come in, pick up a component, and present it to me as the operator for an assembly process. So I'll go in, perform some assembly, and then have the robot reorient the part and uh, reset it for the next uh, pick position, and then bring it back to me. As it does that, now that I come back in, I'm allowed to work on this robot because it is at zero speed. It is in a stop state. Stop state monitoring is one of the functions of the functional safety unit in this controller. So I'll step in and then it's an iterative process. And now I violated it because I tried to go in while it was moving. That is a violation of stop state. So it makes sure that I'm clear of the zone and then it will start again and we'll be go back to work. I'm going to show that to you again. So I'm going to send the robot on its next task, but then I'm going to interrupt and violate the robot space while it's working. This is shared space, but we can't both be in it if the robot is in motion, it automatically stops. Once the robot is back in its zone, I can come in and finish my task. to the adoption of the new 1506-2012 standard, this would not have been possible. This would not have been allowed for users or integrators, but now the new standard does make provision for this sort of collaborative work, human and robot. And it opens all kinds of possibilities for new applications. Uh, this is just one example, assisted assembly. Another that you can imagine is being able to drive the robot manually through a set of processes or positions and teaching that robot in a collaborative fashion. The idea is as we break down uh, the barriers between operators and robots, we open a whole new host of applications and industries. Thanks for tuning in.